Hello. In this video, I will read diagnostic codes in Volvo 940. With the introduction of fuel injection and the demise of carburetors, more sensors were introduced and car electronics became more complex. It would be nice to have the means to communicate with the car's electronic brain, and for this, we have OBD2 scanners. The scanner communicates with the mechanic and helps in diagnostic of a problem. OBD2 became popular in the second half of the 90s. Before that, the system of reading error codes was rudimentary. The basic diagnostics in all cars are control lights and gauges. Before we crank the starter, all lights illuminate on the dash to let us know that bulbs or LEDs work properly. The car reminds us to buckle up. The airbag is testing. 20 seconds passed and the light is off, meaning everything is okay. The car will communicate some problems through dash lights and gauges. For example, a problem with the battery charging system, low oil pressure, overheating, low brake fluid level, etc. Sometimes, when the engine doesn't sound good or check engine light comes on, we reach for the scanner. I don't have a scanner port in my Volvo 940, but there is simple built-in communication with the electronic control unit to diagnose problems. Under the hood, or bonnet, the choice is yours, there are two diagnostic outlets with six ports each. There is also a short lead cable. Right now I have a problem with RPM of the engine. I connect the lead into port number 2 in A outlet. The ignition on and I don't crank the engine. Now I press the button and count to 3. 4, 7, 3. Let go and count. One, two, one. This is the code. There is a maximum of three codes stored in the memory. In the error codes table, one to one indicates a problem with the air mass meter. So I check there and guess what? Somebody disconnected the plug from the air mass meter. Let's fix this problem. And now we will need to clear the code. I press the button for more than 5 seconds. And let go. The LED turns off and then back on. While it is on I press it once again for more than 5 seconds and let go. Let's check the codes now. 693 and I count. 1 1 1 Code 111 means no problems, everything is ok. The memory is cleared now. In port number 2, we can test several components. Ignition. I press the button 3 times for about 2 seconds each time and let go. The fan turns on. Next, fuel injectors. Next, idle air control valve turns on and off. Radio suspension relay. For the next test, I plug the cable into port number 6. Ignition on. 
I press the button two times for about two seconds each time and let go. The LED starts to blink and I turn the throttle cable spool. The throttle switch is testing and it speeds three, three, four. This is the right code. In this port we can do some more testing. We can perform similar tests in Volvo 940 equipped with Rex Regina system. This is the ignition coil for the Regina system. Next car. Ignition on and the airbag light stays on. There is a problem. Let's find out what is going on. Behind the ashtray, next to all the fuses, we have port number 24. It is the test point for the airbag. I use a piece of insulated wire and insert it into connector 24. The ignition on and I wait 15 seconds. Then I use the lighter ground to ground the test wire for more than 2 seconds. The light goes off and on again. Once again off and blinks the code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And stays on. Code number 5 indicates high resistance in the circuit. Probably there is no continuity in the clock spring mechanism behind the steering wheel. But this is the subject for a new video. Clearing code. I touch the ground 3 times within 5 seconds. The lamp turns off for 4 seconds. Comes back for 3 seconds and should turn off. But the problem is not resolved yet. The table of error codes and procedures you can find on the internet or in the manual related to your specific made and model.